So now we've gotten through the top half of our worksheet and we're going to move on to the bottom half of the worksheet. Calculate the following quantities and then draw the graphical representations. So we have one which is a vector addition and one which is a vector subtraction. And again, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. We're going to focus on the vector addition first. Now it doesn't show up here on the screen, but on your worksheet you can see what these equations are. And I'm going to copy from a document where I've already formatted this and just paste it in here. So what you see was A was 3i hat plus 2j hat and C was 0i hat plus 3j hat. I like to write these vector additions like this because it's easier to see what's going on. When you do a vector addition, you add the i components, so 3 plus 0 equals 3, and then you add the j's, 2 plus 3 equals 5. So our resultant vector, and they use the r a lot for resultant, not that you have to do that, is 3i plus 5j. Now, graphically, I could just draw this now that I know what it is. And let's see, I think I'll choose a nice purple color here. This means I go 3 to the right and 5 upwards. 1, 2, 3 to the right and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 upwards. That's just drawing R. But I actually want you guys to go just a little bit further than that. See, let's come back here and draw our A vector. That was going 1, 2, 3, and 2. When you graphically add, you start along one vector, and then you continue along the next vector. And although I didn't count it out here, this one went not left or right, but just straight up 1, 2, 3. So the vector addition of A plus C is the sum of those two vectors, our resultant vector. So this is the way you show it graphically. So if you hadn't done all the math ahead of time, you would have started with doing the A and B vector. Whoop, that kind of moved the wrong thing there. Excuse me. There we go. You would have started by putting A and C and then realized you could put your resultant in there over the top going from the first position to the last position and that gives you your vector addition.